Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a lecture on dystocia in the dog and the horse. Dystocia or difficult birthing essentially is something that we have seen. We've seen a number of different breeds, especially dog breeds that have big heads in the puppy or only one or two pups in the, in the canal and the, um, the bitch has only had, has never had a, a birth before. So the pelvis is not really um, adequately um, uh, opened up from a previous birth. The problem with this condition is that the animal should have been able to adapt uh, uh, well enough for that to occur and also there might be lack of strength in the utero, uh, uterus essentially because of lack of blood supply due to, of course we're always going to blame this on, on vertebral subluxation complex. So an animal that leads up to uh, birthing essentially usually in the last two to three weeks of their um, pregnancy and the same thing in the equine. We will routinely adjust. Classic via OM adjustment as you see and we show you how to do for free on the vomtech.com website that you can go to and, and look at. We'll show you how to go about doing that, the dog and the horse essentially. And this usually almost always produces a uh, uh, non-difficulty or a non-dystocia like birth and it has been known to be a way for us to try to bypass cesarean section even in bulldogs that are routinely taken via cesarean section. The approach basically involves using, we'll, do, we'll basically do the basic three passes that we show you in, in this material essentially and also then we'll do a somatovisceral pass basically which optimizes that. It's been suggested that animals that are pregnant should not be adjusted manually and that's true but this technique does not injure the animal whatsoever and actually is indicated. Keep in mind that we cannot put, give the animal a problem with any of these technologies. We cannot create a problem with these technologies. They emulate the same thing that the body ordinarily would do to solve its own problem. So we can actually optimize these animals essentially. Most chiropractors will have their wives adjusted throughout their pregnancy. So this is an adjustment essentially if done correctly and it's difficult to do it incorrectly. It will be beneficial for these animals and we recommend for every pregnant animal to be adjusted two or three times before they give birth. There's another way that we can take care of dystocia too in the canine and that is the use of frequency specific laser therapy. If the client is reluctant to have their animal adjusted in classic fashion, then what we can do is we can laser them with a frequency specific laser therapy. And we use frequencies for dystocia, we use frequencies for the uterus, which is 10, frequencies for the ovarian tissue and for uh, uh, um, hormonal situations, which is 54. We use a frequency of 141, which is actually a testosteronic frequency. That might freak you out, but we use that particular frequency too, as it seems to be able to stimulate uh, normal oxytocin and normal functioning of the uh, uh, pregnancy hormones. And then we'll also use a frequency 300 for capillary to make sure we have adequate amount of blood supply to the actual uh, uterus, uh, which is going to need a lot of blood and a lot of strength to expel the actual um, um, feti. When we do this in the equine, we do the exact same thing. We'll go through, in fact, a series of adjustments using the adjusting instrument, the side of the head, etc. We show you how to do this in the vomtech.com uh, website, essentially, and then we'll also laser these animals. Now, birthing essentially in the equine is completely different from birthing in the uh, in the um, uh, uh, dog or the cat because it's an explosive event. However, it can in fact be a lot better off essentially if we go ahead and laser this animal leading up to that. We'll also use the frequencies of 9, 16, 42, and 53 in the use of, of lasering these animals which are basic four frequencies which we discuss rather extensively in the laser modules which are available on the vomtech.com website as a certification course. There's a huge body of information there. I mean it's thousands of times more than the data I can give you in these YouTube videos. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make sure these animals are adequately lasered. People will suggest that laser is counterindicated before the animal is born. And that's absolutely correct. If you're using a class 4 laser, this is a class 2A laser, essentially, and emulates the same amount of energy, the same type of energy that the body is already, always delivering to itself normally. We're emulating what the body ordinarily would do to solve its own problems, which is why this particular therapy is so, is so incredibly effective, essentially. I would mention to you that this is how we go about taking care of uh, uh, dystocia when it's occurring and also before it occurs as a prevention. This has been a lecture on dystocia in the horse and the dog, essentially. I'm Dr. Inman, and thank you for watching.